I want to invite you to quiet in your heart as I read from Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us. May God bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways, God, may be known on earth and your salvation among all the peoples. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations glad and be glad and sing for joy, for you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May all the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. Lord God, may we, as we come this morning, again echo the words of this psalm. We need you. Be gracious to us. And if we are here this morning and we think, well, I don't really need God or I'm doing pretty good on my own, may we just confess that sin and, and acknowledge that, no, we need you. In fact, in ways that we know not this week, we have experienced your grace and your mercy. And we have experienced the, the warmth of your face, even if we have not been aware of it. But may we increasingly become aware of these things, of you in our lives, that our hearts might turn only and always to you, that our eyes might look only and always to you, that our ears might hear your voice first in the midst of all the other voices that are pounding on us. May we let you define who we are. So this morning, may we confess those things that are keeping us from that, our sin, our distractions, and may we worship you this morning. Because you are God, you are, you are the first fully equitable. Before there equal and and was ever a word like it is in our culture today you are the god who is and judges in equity you are the god who judges perfectly thank you may our hearts praise you this morning in jesus name amen So once again, I want to encourage you at home if you are on a stand.